The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothings. Over and over, as the world plunged into us, the legend went to peoples and would pray for salvation. And lo, each a shepherd appeared, vanquished the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. And the people began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. I knew it! A hero brandishing the sacred blade! This mural is a depiction of the shepherd! <laughs> About time I found it! Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio! Looks like he beat me this time. <laughs> this proves the shepherds have been around since even before the era of Asgard! I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on! Uh. Ah! That was too close. Could I get a little help, please? <laughs> Surging currents! Twin flow! <laughs> Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even.
unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Oh man, what a drop! It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... it's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. Yeah. My sword's all sticky. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. What's wrong? Shh. There! It's huge! What is this thing? Quit gawking and get your sword ready! Yeah! Be gone! Ready? Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two, common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. 
Got it? We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. Then we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl! Before something worse finds her! Is that a monolith?
Sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. That was a cool monolith. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Explorers. for now. What's this? Whoa! What the... I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. 
I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. So close, but it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. Well? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connected point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. I see. So that's the deal. Huh? Haven't figured it out? Y yeah, I have. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well. Aren't you sharp today? For a change. Psh. Seems safe enough. Yeah. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh, yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey! Uh... Are you alright? Uh... Huh. <sighs> I was... I was in a forest, and then... <sighs> Looking for this? Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name? Uh, oh! Right! My name! I'm Saray. Saray? Yep, nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? 
So, Ray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. <sighs> you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Ah, we made it back in one piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. So, uh... Is the Celestial Record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it, too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh, yeah? Huh. Well, figures. I mean, it is an amazing book. Yes. Well, it looks like someone's enjoying himself. This is my village. Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but Alicia, then. Then the rumors were false after all. Creatures. What do you mean, creatures? They're goats. Goats? Are they usually this big? What's that? Such robust horns. Just like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? Or something else? Don't go near it! There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Coming by afterwards? Yeah. Hey everyone! Got someone to introduce to you!
This is my family, living here at the shrine. Is this, uh, some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. May I have a look around the village? Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh, man. I sure hope Mick Leo's chat with Gramps went over well. And I'll let you hear the rest from Sore himself. I reckon I'll have to. You idiots! Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Sore's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Sore. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. But Gramps, this is the first time Sore's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, 
She has no business in this realm. Ah. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own, doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysia. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Hey. Hey, wow! Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. This is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! Sound like your kind of thing? Maybe. I always thought that Mankind's Savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, Seraph Beast! I shall not. Hmm. <laughs> Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's weird. I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Hey! So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record! The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water. Rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait, was?
Well, it used to be. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great too. Gotcha. Well then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Miklio! We ain't got time to mess around! Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray, Gramps only wants... Yeah, I know. Miklio! Maybe later. Sure. Good morning. You sleep okay? Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> 